Hi, Jim Broyles here, and in this video I'm going to walk you through a breathwork technique that I practice every morning um, upon waking, and I find it to be a really powerful tool. So I have been practicing breathwork for about five months now, and I, it has been incredibly healing for me in a variety of ways. It's wonderful for reducing stress and anxiety, it's great for improving sleep, for gaining clarity, for healing, uh, for getting into a deep meditative state. So it's a really, really powerful form of meditation. Um, I call it like meditation on steroids because it's really, really powerful and effective. And you notice the benefits usually after the first, the first session. So um, I love it so much and still love breathwork so much that I became a breathwork instructor myself in the technique called Soma Breath. And Soma Breath is rooted in ancient breathing techniques from yoga and pranayama. And so these techniques date back thousands of years and we now know through science just some of the many benefits of breathwork on the body. And so I teach classes, breathwork classes that generally last anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. And in those classes, we do specific styles of breathing that allow you to go really, really deep um, into a meditative state. Um, but then there's other forms of breathwork techniques that you can do in smaller doses, right? That don't take an hour. You can really get the benefits of breathwork in as little as 15 minutes a day and um, and so that's what I'm going to share with you today is just one of the many different techniques that you can do first thing in the morning or throughout the day that take you know 5, 10, 15 minutes and you can really uh, reap the benefits of them. So this particular technique that I'm going to show you today is called the longevity breath. Okay, and some of the benefits of this particular type of breathing are um, cardiovascular health, okay? So it really helps to improve circulation and, um, and promotes the growth of new blood vessels. So it's great for um, cardiac health. It's wonderful for brain health as well because um, we're improving blood flow throughout the body and especially um, blood going to to organs that use up a lot of oxygen, like your brain, right? So we're gonna really be building up oxygen in the body, improving circulation, and that is ultimately gonna really help support brain health. It may lead to activation of dormant parts of the brain, improves cognitive function and memory, so lots of benefits there. Um, has anti-aging properties, hence the name longevity, right? So, and in this regard, it may actually stimulate um, and activate stem cells into circulation for regenerating cells, which is really, really powerful. It improves endurance, so it really helps to improve fitness and stamina as you're producing more red blood cells, new blood vessels, and um, increasing blood flow to your organs. And it also aids in healing, and so rapid targeted healing, and I suggest combining that, combining the breath work with some type of visualization or visioning practice, um, doing them together for healing purposes to really invoke a healing response in your body where it's needed, okay? So if you're new to breath work, some key things to remember is one, practice breath work when you're already in a pretty calm state. Okay, so first thing in the morning is usually a good time before you've checked your phone, checked email, done any of those things that tend to cause stress. Um, or it could be at night before bed perhaps. Oftentimes in the middle of the day when you're when you're at work or you know your mind is just highly active It's a little more difficult to calm things down and get into a meditative state So I would say start when you're in your most calm state already. That's gonna allow you to go even deeper. Okay, 
Um, find a comfortable, quiet space with no distractions. Okay, so be in comfortable clothes, find a comfortable place to sit or lie down, ideally be able to go into a room and shut the door and have nobody and nothing distracting you, no external noises, no phone, no computer. Um, and make sure the, the aroma in the room is nice too because that makes a difference, especially when you're doing breath work. I'm sure me breathing a lot. So you want to be breathing in something that smells good and that could also be therapeutic for you. So I recommend using essential oils during breath work. Um, I diffuse oils, I'll put them on me, like on my wrist and on my chest. And so if I am doing breath work to calm my mind and activate the parasympathetic nervous system and just calm, calm the nervous system, then I'm gonna use calming oils, like floral oils lavender, ylang ylang, roman chamomile, things like that that are going to just enhance um, what the breath work is going to be doing for me and help calm, calm me down even further. If I'm looking for grounding and centering, then I'm going to diffuse oils like frankincense. Um, and frankincense also is a powerful oil for helping you get into that deep meditative state. Um, if I'm wanting to do breath work to increase my energy levels or um, promote focus and concentration, then I might use uh, peppermint or citrus oils like wild orange or lemon um, or rosemary, things that are going to be energizing, kind of activating the brain, promoting focus and concentration, oils like that. So using oils along with the breath work they're great tools to use together. They integrate really, really nicely. Okay, and then of course, consistency. It's not a one and done thing. This is something that you do need to keep up and create a habit of doing on a regular basis to really see the maximum benefit from it. Okay, so um, a few key rules with this breath work is we'll be breathing in through the nose. Benefits of breathing in through the nose, um, one, Breathing in through the nose is going to filter and purify the air that you're breathing in. And two, it, um, it increases and stimulates the production of nitric oxide. And that helps dilate blood vessels, improving blood flow around the body. Don't overexert yourself. This should not be a forceful activity. You should be breathing with ease and with intention, but not forcing it. Okay. So with this technique, again, we'll be breathing in deep through the nose um, to in a rhythmic form, okay? So, so same rhythm, every breath, okay? And um, we'll be taking these deep belly breaths. So breathing in from the belly, letting the belly expand, letting that air rise up into the diaphragm, into the chest, and then we're going to just exhale fully and just kind of like relax into that exhale, okay? Um, so to do this, again, I recommend first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. If you do it later in the day, try to wait two hours after you've eaten, okay? You can sit up like this, just make sure you're sitting in a nice straight posture, but still relaxed. Um, or you can lie down if that's more comfortable for you, all right? You'll inhale fully through both nostrils, filling your lungs completely with oxygen. So, okay, in through the nose. And you can actually get more oxygen into your lungs if you imagine that your nostrils are in your back and expand your chest fully, okay? And that will allow you to get even more oxygen in. And then as you get to the top of your inhalation, you will just simply let go and exhale fully through the mouth with no force. So, and just feel everything relax. And you can like raise and lower if you want to, if that helps. I typically do that. I feel like I can get more from it that way. And then as you get to the bottom of your exhale, you're gonna do it again. You're gonna breathe in fully again, and breathe out fully. And you'll just create a continuous connected 
rhythmical breath. And you'll do that for 20 to 30 repetitions. Okay? And um, you may start to feel tingly or lightheaded. That's great. <laughs> That's great. Okay? And if you have a pulse oximeter, looks looks like this, and you can stick it on your finger, if you have one of these, you'll notice that your oxygen levels are rising, okay? And then after your final exhalation, you're gonna let all of that air out and you're gonna hold your breath for as long as you can. And since we built up a lot of oxygen in the body, you have a lot of, a lot of oxygen in there. So you can hold your breath for a really long time. Even when it feels like you can't hold your breath anymore, you can. So you can hold your breath for a minute, minute and a half, see how long you can do it. Um, after you really get into a practice of this, you'll find that you can hold your breath for much longer than that. So, um, so you'll hold your breath for as long as you can. This is the intermittent hypoxia piece, okay? And um, once you get to about the minute and a half mark, you're gonna notice if you have one of these pulse oximeters, you're gonna notice that your oxygen starts to fall really, really fast. This is gonna get you into a deep meditative state. Um, it's gonna trigger a positive stress response in the body. This is where healing starts to happen. This is where um, uh, stem cells start to, start to be produced, okay? So really, really great space to be in. And then when you can't hold your breath any longer, you'll take a quick inhalation and exhale and continue to hold for a while longer okay and then you're gonna let your oxygen levels continue to go down you can repeat this a few times for as long as you feel comfortable I recommend doing two rounds of this okay and then um, at the end of your final breath hold you can just take take another breath in and return to normal, relaxed breathing, okay? So that is it. So we're gonna do one round really quickly and, um, and then you'll have this tool to do on your own, okay? So I'm gonna do, I'll probably do 20 reps, something around there. You can count in your head, you can count with your fingers. If you have mala beads, you can use those to count but we'll do about 20, 20 reps, and then we'll do the breath retention. Okay, so here it goes.
And that's it. Okay. And you'll see, like, as I was holding my breath, I kind of moved my shoulders. Sometimes this can help you kind of push past your comfort zone, hold your breath a little longer. Okay. And, um, and I find sometimes that lying down, I can hold my breath even longer than I can sitting up. So, um, so you may give both a try, see what works for you, but, um, encourage you to do two rounds of this every morning and, um, and see how that changes your stress levels, your day, your, your reaction to different stressors, your anxiety, your, um, your overall well-being. So I hope you enjoy this and please share uh, your experiences and your comments as well. I'd love to hear from you. All right. Bye.